This is the recording of my learner who is in grade 4. The poor bunny magic present. Once upon a time, there was a place where animals were suffering greatly from drought and hunger. A very poor bunny was walking sadly through the fields when all of a sudden a wizard appeared in front of him. The wizard offered the bunny a bug filled with little bouquet. They are magical and they're even more magical if you know how to use them properly, said the wizard. The bunny was dying of hunger, but he decided not to eat the bouquet. He wanted to put them to good use. On his way home, the bunny met a very old and poor sheep could hardly walk. Can you give me something? asked the sheep. The bunny had nothing except his bouquet, and since they were magical, he was unwilling to give them to the sheep. But he remembered how his parents had always taught him to share everything, so he pulled bo bouquet out of the bag and gave it to the sheep. Soon as he, he decided this, the bunch shone with a thousand colors. Magic was at work. The bunny continued his way, feeling both happy and a bit annoyed. He had given away one of the bouquet, but at the same time it was obvious that the sheep needed it more than he did. As he continued his journey, the very same thing happened to the bunny. He met a blind duck and the lame roosters. When the bunny arrived home, he had only one magical bouquet left. He told his parents all about what happened with the wizard. His parents were very proud of the bunny behavior. He was about to pull out the final bouquet when his little brother arrived home, crying with hunger. The bunny gave his brother the magical bouquet. At that moment, with a great rumble and thunder, the wizard appeared again. He asked the bunny where are the magical bouquet I gave you. What have you done with them? The bunny was repeated and he started to say sorry. But he, the wizard interpreted saying, Did I tell you that if you use them well, they've been more magical? Well, go outside and see what you've done. The bunny went out shaking with what he saw as something unbelievable. As far as the eye could see, the whole countryside had turned into wonderful wind farmland, farmland with enough water and food the, to feed all the animals. The bunny felt very happy that he had acted as he did and that the magic of his generosity will bring happiness to everyone. The Poor Bunny Magic Present The learner omitted the possessive indicator S from the word bunnies. Once upon a time, there was a place where animals were suffering greatly from drought and hunger. The sound G in the word greatly was not enunciated, and the learner mispronounced it as retly. Instead of saying drought, the learner committed a mispronunciation error by reading it as rot. He also said et instead of end. A very poor bunny was walking sadly through the fields. The learner said berry instead of very. He also misread the words sadly and through by saying sadji and true. When all of a sudden, a wizard appeared in front of him. The word appeared was pronounced as appeared. The wizard offered the bunny a bag filled with little bouquet. 
Another mispronunciation error was committed by the learner when he read the word offered as offered. The learner omitted the letter S from the plural word bouquets. They are magical and they're even more magical if you know how to use them properly, said the wizard. The bunny was dying of hunger, but he decided not to eat the bouquet. In the word decided, the sound D was repeated. And once again, the learner omitted the plural indicator S from the word bouquets. He wanted to put them to good use. On his way home, the bunny met a very old and poor ship could hardly walk. Home was pronounced as home. Very was pronounced as berry. The word sheep was read as ship with a short I sound instead of a long E sound. The word who, on the other hand, was skipped by the learner. Can you give me something? asked the ship. Instead of saying give, the learner said gib. He also made a mispronunciation error by reading the word something as something. The suffix ed was omitted from the word asked, while the word sheep was read as ship once again. The bunny had nothing except his bouquet. The word nothing was read as nothing. The word bouquets was once again pronounced as bouquet. And since they were magical, he was unwilling to give them to the ship. Once again, the word give was pronounced as gib, and the word sheep as ship. But he remembered how his parents had always taught him to share everything. The learner pronounced everything as everything. So he pulled bo bouquet out of the bag and gave it to the ship. The article A was skipped and the buzz sound in the word bouquet was repeated. The word gave was read as gabe. And once again, the word sheep was pronounced as ship with a short I sound. Soon as she, she, he decided this, the buns shone with a thousand colors. The word as was omitted. In pronouncing the pronoun he, the learner initially said she, but was able to successfully correct himself. The words did and this were pronounced as this I and this respectively, with the latter's first syllable being repeated. And instead of saying bunch, the learner said bunts. Magic was at work. The bunny continued his way, feeling both happy and a bit annoyed. Omission errors were made in reading the word continued without the end sound the and in skipping the preposition on. Meanwhile, a substitution error was made as the learner pronounced the word both as both. He had given away one of the bouquet. Given was read as given. The plural indicator S was once again omitted from the word bouquets. But at the same time, it was obvious that the ship needed it more than he did. As he continued his journey, continued was pronounced as continue without the end sound D. The very same thing happened to the bunny. He met as noticed, berry is a recurring mispronunciation error made every time the word very was read. Instead of saying thing, the learner said thing, while the word happened was stripped off of its past tense indicator, the suffix ed. Another omission error was made with the word when. A blind up and the lame roosters. The learner skipped the word then and proceeded with inserting an S at the end of the word rooster. He pronounced it as roosters. 
when the bunny arrived home. Instead of saying arrived, the learner said arrive, omitting the end sound d. He had only one magical bouquet left. He told his parents all about what happened with the wizard. His parents were very proud of the bunny behavior. The word very was once again mispronounced as berry. And again, the word bunnies was stripped off of its possessive indicator s. The learner also mispronounced the word behavior as behavior. He was about to pull out the final bouquet when his little brother arrived home. A substitution error was made by the learner in reading the word little, which he pronounced as liter. The b sound was repeated in the word brother. Meanwhile, the end sound the was removed from the word arrived. Crying with hunger, the bunny gave his brother the magical bouquet. Gave was pronounced as gabe. At that moment, with a great rumble and thunder, the word off was replaced by the word end, making another substitution error. The wizard appeared again. He asked the bunny where are the magical bouquet I gave you. Instead of saying asked, the learner said at. Another recurring error is the omission of the letter S from the word bouquets as well as the pronunciation of the word gave as gabe. What have you done with them? The word have was pronounced as hab, replacing the sound v with the sound b. The bunny was written and he started to say sorry. The learner intentionally skipped the word frightened. Meanwhile, another mispronunciation error was made when the learner read the word started as starred. But he, the wizard, interpreted saying, did I tell you? The learner added the pronoun he in between the words but and the. And instead of saying interrupted, the learner pronounced it as interputed. The learner didn't pronounce the end sound of the contraction didn't. He only said did. That if you use them well, they've been more magical. Well, go outside and see what you've done. The bunny went out checking with what he saw as something unbelievable. The preposition with was inserted between the words shaking and what. Meanwhile, the pronoun he was pronounced as she once again. Mispronunciation errors were also committed in reading the words something and unbelievable. They were read as something and unbelievable. As far as the I could see, the learner pronounced the word could as cold. The whole countryside had turned into wonderful wind farmland. The end sound l in the word wonderful was replaced by the sound r. The learner pronounced it as wonderful. Meanwhile, the beginning sound g was omitted in the pronunciation of the word green. From blood with a nut, water, and food the, to feed all the animals. The learner omitted the sound of the letter n in the word farmland. He read it as Farmlad, and instead of saying enough, the learner pronounced it as enat. The learner pronounced the word too as ta the first time, but he was able to successfully correct himself the second time. The bunny felt very happy that he had acted ha as he did. The word very was once again pronounced as berry. The learner inserted ha in between the words acted and as. And that the magic of his generosity will bring happiness to everyone. Instead of saying generosity, the learner said generosity. Another mispronunciation error was made when the learner pronounced the word wood as wood. 
And lastly, the learner mispronounced the word everyone as everyone.